I wrote a poem on the river. And the river was chasing a cloud all day long. And he suffered because the clouds are impermanent. You cannot retain the cloud forever. So you have your five favorite cloud. And suddenly the cloud, your cloud may disappear. And the river, the river suffers because she spent all her life chasing after clouds. And when your cloud is no longer, no longer there in the sky, you cry. Oh my beloved cloud, where are you now? I miss you. You have, uh, you have passed from being into non-being. I cannot see you anymore. So that's what we feel when, uh, when we lose someone who is close to us. Just yesterday, she was still alive. She's, she talked, she walked, she smiled. And today, nothing. She, she looks like uh, she has passed from being into non-being. But in fact, our cloud is still there some, somehow. In the beginning, maybe half the cloud has become green. And the other half has spent some time and become snow. And we should be able to see the continuation of our cloud. In order not to say that our cloud has passed from being into not being. In fact, uh, it is impossible for a cloud to die. Because to die means from something, you suddenly become nothing. From someone, you suddenly become no one. And looking deeply into the heart of reality, you don't see anything like that at all. Nothing can be reduced to nothingness. It is impossible for your cloud to die. Your cloud might become uh, snow or hell or rain, but it is impossible for your cloud to become nothing. It is impossible to pass from being into non-being. Your beloved one is still somewhere, and if you have the eyes of a bodhisattva, you can still recognize your beloved one in her new appearance, in her new signs. So you have to look beyond the sign. And that is the wisdom of signlessness. Why your beloved cloud has uh, been transformed into the rain? She's calling on you. Darling, darling, I'm here. Don't you see me? You are not capable of seeing your beloved cloud in her new form, the rain. So that is why in order to remove our grief, to remove our despair and our fear, we should get behind the signs. The Buddha said, where there is a sign, there is a delusion. And that, that is why we should not count on signs. We have to learn how to, to see things uh, in the light of signlessness. <laughs>